good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 13. As you guys can see, we do have a slew of figures here, and we have some uh, firsts here on, the, on this episode. We're going to get into that in a second, but I do want to mention that it is the last day. Today is the last day of 2018. It's been a very exciting year. I hope you guys have a very safe New Year's and you enjoy time with your families and doing whatever the heck it is that you do on New Year's Eve. But uh, 2019 is going to be epic, and I have a special video planned for tomorrow. Hopefully everything goes correctly, and we'll be able to do that video for tomorrow. But here today we have action figure surgery. Might as well end the year with a freaking bang. So today we're going to be working on some figures here, and I guess we can go ahead and get into what we're going to be working on. Um, it's not going to be a lot of you know crazy over-the-top stuff like we usually do on figure surgery. It's going to be more minor things, but I think they're going to make the world of difference. And um, we do have some shout-outs to go through because I was inspired by two things we're going to do here today um, by someone else, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do, guys, as you can see, we do have a Top Talent Finn Balor and the Ringside Exclusive Finn Balor. If I get him out of the chair here, um, you guys can see that this is the Ringside Exclusive Finn Balor. It has the smirking head scan, and I don't know about you guys, but I definitely like the Top Talent's head scan more. You know, it's more detailed. It has a better likeness to Finn Balor, and I think it's his best head scan overall. I think that this one looks a lot better than than this one as cool as this one is I think I like this one better so we're gonna be swapping the two I was inspired by uh, wide figs my boy Ryan from wide figs did uh, do this on one of his uh, videos and he did post it on Instagram and it looked incredible so we're gonna be doing that as well uh, I think mine already has the black sleeve as well so I guess it'll be pretty much identical to his figure but I was inspired by that so we're definitely gonna be knocking that out that is Finn Balor so we have just a regular head swap another thing that we're gonna be doing Shout out to uh, Ryan from Wide Figs. We're going to be switching the UK Championship center plate right here. He switched these two belts, and this center plate over here looks absolutely incredible. We're going to be doing that on today's episode because I want to show you guys that if you haven't seen it. Um, and uh, it looked beautiful, so we're going to be doing that. And another thing that we will be doing, we have two more things that I want to do. I want to put some knee pads on this AJ Styles because obviously they never give him knee pads and it looks so atrocious when they freaking don't give him knee pads. So we're going to take Lex Luger back here. This terrible trash AF, awful, just ridiculously bad awfulness, terrible, awful, awful, terrible, worthless piece of trash, moron, idiot, dumb, stupid, awful, terrible, atrocious, moronic, awful, terrible, worst thing I've ever seen, go throw yourself off a bridge, effing, awful, terrible, basic, Lex Luger, take his open knee pads off since he doesn't need them, put them over there on that AJ Styles that's on the stretcher laid out, and um, yeah, it'll make that figure look a lot better, so we're going to be doing that. Um, another thing we're going to be doing is we're finally going to be adding our third Undisputed Era bicep. I got this from my boy Figs Extreme on Instagram. Definitely go give him a follow. He hooked me up with a trade. I can't even remember what I sent him. I think it was a Jerry Lawler basic head scan. I sent that to him. I, uh, I received this bicep in the mail, so we're going to be switching nice, this bicep over to Adam Cole, and then all three of our Undisputed Era will have the armband, and it's going to be absolutely cool to see that and see how that turns out, so we will be doing that, and then we are going to make our first debut of a women's figure here on Action Figure Surgery. We're going to be switching these head scans on this Alexa Bliss. This is my favorite Alexa Bliss Elite, and we just got the Survivor Series Walmart exclusive Elite Alexa Bliss. We're going to be popping this True Effects great perfect head scan of Alexa over here and seeing what it looks like to see if we can make this figure just a little bit better. I think that it's going to really kill it, so uh, hopefully that will work out. I know that this head scan won't really look right over here, but I don't really care. I like this attire, and we're going to see what this head scan looks like over here. So I guess what we can do is heat up AJ's kick pads, Lex Luger's awful, terrible, stupid, idiot, moron, stupid, idiot, dumb, face, stupid, moron, idiot, moronic, awfulness, terrible, just awful, oh. boots off, and so I guess we can heat that up at the same time, heat the heads up of Alexa at the same time, heat the same, uh, heat the head up of Finn, and uh, I think we could do that all at once, like I don't think that we're going to have to take too much time here, but I guess we will only know if we go ahead and do it, so let's go ahead and hit the hair dryer. Alright guys, so I guess we're just going to heat up these four heads at once, we'll switch them over, and then we'll see what they look like at the end, but we're just going to... Uh, Take our white hair dryer as we always do, 
heat those heads up to go ahead and switch them then we'll go over to stupid idiot moron dumb awful terrible awfulness atrocious moronic idiot dumb lex luger pop his boots off pop aj's boots off switch those knee pads then we'll move on to our undisputed era and fix up those arms and everything like that guys so let's go ahead and hit it with the hair dryer Alright guys, hopefully that's long enough. Let's go ahead and see if we can pop Finn's head off. And... Alright, we got Finn's head off there. Oh, he's not even freaking close to coming off. F. But we'll go over here and see if Alexis is ready to pop off. I don't think I've ever done a freaking women's head swap. I don't even know what to expect here. Hers isn't ready either. Christ on a bike. Alright, so we got two of them off. I guess we gotta heat them back up to see... Uh, what the others uh, are, are going to take to to pop off. All right, guys. Let's see if that is long enough. God, it's still freaking scary. I I do not know what's wrong with that Finn Balor head. All right, Alexis came off. Let's go ahead and pop her. Uh, new head onto the old body. Let's see if this will work out. All right, that worked. We'll take a look at her at the end. Let's see if this older head pops on this Survivor Series. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll just see how it goes. All right, it did work. We'll take a look at her at the end, but I don't know what to do with this freaking Finn Balor, guys. It's like his head skin just does not want to heat up, and I don't want to break the figure, so uh, screw it. We're going to have to heat it back up. All right, maybe this will be finally good enough. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think a head scan's ever been that tough to pop off, but now we're gonna pop it over on the top talents. And it's on there, we'll take a look at the end. I doubt, I like highly doubt this head's still hot enough, but uh, we'll try it anyways, just to see if it'll go on there. Oh, I'm scared. Back to the hair dryer. All right, most complicated head swap of all time, but we're gonna see if it goes on there now. I think it's this neck peg or something. Oh my God, my freaking hand almost burned off. Mercifully got that bitch on there. Now we're moving on to stupid idiot moron, dumb, stupid, morbid idiot, stupid, dumb idiot, moron, dumb, moronic idiot, freaking awfulness, terrible, stupid idiot, Lex Luger and uh, AJ Styles. So let's go ahead and move on to AJ Styles and Lex Luger and we're just gonna heat these up at the same time and hopefully these aren't near as bad as that effing Finn Balor head scan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if this is hot enough. We'll go ahead and pop AJ Styles' kick pad off. Good Lord of God. All right, I got the first kick pad. Sweet Jesus. Kick pad's always the worst, man, I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Well, let's see if we can get Lex Luger's boots off. Of course we are. are, are, are. Of course we are. Or of course we can, because he's a stupid idiot moron, dumb, stupid idiot moron, dumb, idiot, dumb, moron, idiot, 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 idiot. So see how easy his comes off? God, why can't AJ's be like that? I mean, jeez. All right, I got his left off, so I guess we can just go ahead and pop his left knee pad on. At this point, are the knee pads even worth it? Of course we are. And we'll slide the other knee pad off here. All right, so we got both knee pads off. All we have to do now is get that stupid idiot dumb moron on stupid idiot kick pad off. We can put idiot morons boots back on, I guess. Look how easy, they're like freaking butter. I guess because AJ Styles isn't stupid. So Lex Luger can go back in his dumb idiot box and now we're gonna have to heat up this other kick pad because it doesn't want to come off. All right, I doubt that's hot enough, but we'll see. God, it's so close. It's just, I don't know why these have to be so effing complicated. There you are. Now let's pop this knee pad on here, and we're never, ever, ever, ever taking it off, ever, ever again. 
Now let's put his kick pads back on like a good boy. And they go on way easier than they come off. Or do they? And there he is. We'll take a closer look at AJ at the freaking end. Now the last thing that we have to do is take dumb idiot moron Adam Cole, get his arm off, and then we'll switch on the bicep. And then we have our title belt switch as well. But let's go ahead and do Adam Cole because I think the title belt switch should be fairly easy. So to prep Adam Cole for surgery, what we're going to have to do is pop off his t-shirt because you can't go into surgery with your t-shirt on, especially when you're getting your arm operated on. So you guys can see that he does have his rubber armband on there, but we don't want that. We want the freaking painted armband on there. And that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to stretch out this arm just like so. Put him just like this. Retrieve our bicep out of this little baggie here that my boy Harris, I believe his name is, uh, let me uh, use here. I really got if I could get it open. And just like so, we'll dump this out. And maybe he can hold this. I don't know how I'm going to do this because this needs to be heated up. <clears throat> that way when we're heating both of them up, I can... Take this bicep off and pop this one on really easy in transition. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that should be good enough. Go ahead and pop the arm off here. This is going to be really, really just, I don't know how to explain it, but we're just going to pop this off here. Do like so, pop this out of this bicep, go over here, pop this peg right through here, and I'm going to see if if this is this easy, all in one transition like this, that'll blow my effing mind. But here we go, we're going to try and do this, and of course not. Alright, well it's on there, now we got to heat that back up and press it in. Alright guys, so I finally got it on there, now we're going to pop this into here, and we'll take a closer look at Adam Cole at the end here, but I guess I can zoom in. And we're going to switch out these title plates real quick and see if I can do it all in one shot. I'll be surprised if I can get it. But you guys see here we have the UK Championship. How I do it when I'm switching out title plates, I'm going to show you very simple here. You pull it and you push. Just like that. You see how I, I hooked it back on there? Just like that. You literally, I, I reset it here for you. You pull it. You pull it with this hand and you push through with that hand. Pops out just like that. And then you should be able to just pull it out straight like that. Literally that simple to do. And then we go over here to the Universal Championship, same thing. You flip it around, pull it, push it through, just like so. It pops out. You do this. You push it right here. All right, I'll flip it around here. Um, nah, I like doing it this way. I put it right here on the fold. You pull it, and you push through again. You may have to, like, finagle it through there, but it should go through there like that. And then you hold this side. You pull it, and you push it through again, and you finagle it again, and it should go through there like so. Very, very simple, and look how flames this custom UK championship looks. Another shout out to Ryan from Wadfix for doing this first and inspiring this. I'm not going to keep it this way, I just figured I'd show you guys how to do that on camera. Very, very easy swap to make, and I guess uh, it does have the details on the side plates if you wanted to switch that out. It's the same little method. You pull it and push, just like so, and it's very simple, guys. So now that we've done the title, you guys see the championship, I guess we can go ahead and show everything we've done here today on Action Figure Surgery Episode 13. All right, guys, so taking a look at all of our fix-ups here today, you guys saw the championships. Um, they look absolutely wonderful. Even if you switch the Universal Championship over to the UK title strap, I still think it looks fresh. Um, but Adam Cole, I guess we can start off here with the Undisputed Era. You guys can see that now all three members of Undisputed Era have the armband, and how sick is that? Um, I don't think I've seen anybody do this just yet, just because I don't think anybody went out there and bought three packs of the Undisputed Era. But you guys can see there, all three members have the armband, and it matches beautifully. I think that this is probably the way they should have made them, but I kind of like the removable armband option because, you know, you can have a version with and without, without having to buy multiple versions there. But I am fine now that I have a set all with the armband, and then I have a set without any of the armbands. I think that's really nice. So Adam Cole turned out great, just like I expected. Thank you so much, Figs Extreme for that epic bicep switch there. AJ Styles is looking great, guys. Uh, these knee pads, I mean, they, they fully tied together. The black there, um, the only thing that I think I want to do is add the uh, the black triangles to the middle of his gloves and possibly paint the belt design black there, and I think that will finally pull it all together. I think that just the subtle differences in this figure and the Elite 56 really make it a brand new figure. You know, you get the armband down here as well, 
and uh, the freaking vest is nice as well. So, I mean, you got to love that, even though they don't ever give them the great torso, which they never will, but just something that i got to complain about. Uh, right here we have the ringside exclusive Finn Balor with a top talent's head, something that Wadfigs also did first. Mine has white uh, white outsoles, though. I don't know if his did. That's just something that I like to do. Oh, my God. That's just something I like to do because... Uh, white outsoles really tie this figure together, and it, it, it it's my favorite part of the figure. But this head scan looks so much better than the other you guys can see here. We'll pull up the top talent, Sven Balor, and you guys can just see this one just looks so much cleaner now. I think I like this better um, on the Finn Balor shelf. And since I have so many of the top talents, I mean, what is just one little head swap? Um, I did this a long time ago with the black armband. I also switched on a black wrist tape arm, even though this arm is actually smaller, I'm pretty sure. Um, then this mold, I'm pretty sure that these are two different sized arms, but it's not a huge deal. Um, I'll probably fix it later on, but it still looks great, and Finn Balor turned out perfect. Love Finn Balor to death. And uh, the last switch, we have the first women's switch ever here on WWE Action Figure Surgery, and I think that the women did terrific. I think that Little Miss Bliss is looking flames right now with this new head scan. I think the true effects really does capture her likeness a little bit more. More details in there. Not as cartoony looking. Actually looks serious. And I like this attire. I like that the pink ties in nicely. Uh, I think that if you went in and maybe painted the uh, the braids or the bows or whatever a different color, maybe an orange and pink or a silver or something, I think that it would look a lot better. But I think Little Miss Bliss turned out great as well. So I think this was a good ep episode of Action Figure Surgery, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy um, and you enjoyed everything. Look at stupid idiot moron, dumb idiot moronic, stupid awfulness, terrible idiot moron Lex Luger back there on the stretcher. But uh, I enjoyed this episode. I always enjoyed these. I think you guys learned a lot from them. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed me tearing into Lex Luger and enjoyed these swaps here today. Let me know what you think down below. What did you think of all our fix-ups here today? Comment down below what you think of Lex Luger. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNamToys. Have a happy new year, guys, and I will see you in 2019.